Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you almost everything you need to know about the grey heron. Standing it up to a metre tall, and with a wingspan of between 155 and 195 centimetres, the grey heron is almost unmistakable. Adults have an orangey yellow, dagger shaped beak, a dark eye stripe which contrasts with their almost white head and neck, grey wings with darker outer edges, and a small crest of feathers protruding from the back of their heads. They also have long spindly legs and hold these and their heads and necks close into their bodies during flight. For the most part, males and females look the same, although the crest of feathers, which are known as aigrets, are slightly longer in breeding condition males. Grey herons are mostly a waterside bird, found at almost all inland waterways, along the coast, and much to the annoyance of koi and goldfish keepers, they'll frequently attempt to visit garden ponds. With this wetland preference, a lot of their diet is made up of fish and amphibians, but they'll also hunt away from the water and take small mammals, birds and insects. They catch their larger prey by surprise, stalking it, impaling it, and then swallowing it whole. When it comes to nesting, grey herons will often choose to nest communally in what is known as a heronry. This will usually be in clusters of large trees, on islands or close to water, and they'll sometimes share their nesting areas with other fish-eating birds, such as cormorants, spoonbills and egrets. From the age of two years, each adult heron will attempt to find a mate from early spring onwards, and once they are successful, will begin the construction of a large twig platform nest. Once the nest is complete, each pair will produce between three and five greeny blue eggs at two day intervals. These measure six centimeters in length and are incubated by both parents for 27 days from when the first or second is laid. This means that the chicks hatch at intervals too and there can be a noticeable size difference between the oldest and the youngest. Both parents bring food back to the chicks in the nest and they grow rapidly, fledging at 50 to 55 days old. At this point, the young are duller and scruffier looking versions of their parents and are still cared for away from the nest for a further two to four weeks until they are able to fend for themselves. Each pair will only nest once per year and after nesting, they remain mostly solitary, only searching for a new mate in the following spring. There are currently an estimated 13,000 grey heron nests in the UK and 63,000 birds overwintering here. They are also found across most of Europe, Russia, Northern Asia, parts of Australasia and South Africa. They have a similar looking relative in the Americas called the Great Blue Heron. Grey herons in the UK don't migrate and at some points outside of the breeding season they can be seen stood along a waterway or in a field often all facing the same direction and no one knows really why they do this. It is thought that it might just be for social interaction. They have an average lifespan of around five years, but the oldest wild bird on record made it to 23 years of age. Here is what a grey heron sounds like. So there we go. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, you might also like this British wildlife video. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.